They've been around for more than 1,000 years and have influenced warfare and society at large in a way that perhaps no other invention can match. We're talking about guns. Do you know how they're made? It's far more complicated than you might think. Working Mechanisms of Guns To understand how guns are built, it's important to understand how each part of a gun works. The turret contains four main subsystems, frame group, cylinder, extractor, and tap groups, barrel and sight group, and a trigger group that synchronizes the arm and hammer. The aim is to provide a strong frame to absorb the strong firing force of the cartridge, position the shooter's hand correctly, and ensure the trigger fires accurately. The design is slightly different due to a manufacturer's patent, but the operation is the same. The cylinder, puller, and hammer assembly consists of the cylinder itself, the shaft on which it rotates, the puller, the puller shaft, the return spring, and the hammer. The cylinder usually contains six chambers for six cartridges. The outer rim or edge of the cartridge bed rests on a semicircular rim formed by the extractor, which contains six small indentations in the center. The outside of the cylinder has six matching locking channels. The cylinder rotates on a cylindrical pin, which connects the frame at one end and the hammer at the other. The pressure cone on the barrel helps the bullet accurately jump the gap between the cylindrical surface and the barrel. The group of the barrel and sight is very important for the accuracy of the weapon. Coiled in the frame, the barrel, when fired, ejects the bullet from the chamber. The trigger group is best described by describing the sequence of fire that occurred when the shooter retracts the hammer spur. The action compresses or twists the hammer spring, forcing the timing arrow connecting the hammer to trigger a recess in the extractor and rotating the cylinder to align the chamber and barrel. The trigger lock engages the locking groove, stopping further rounds and securing the cylinder for firing. At the end of the movement, the firing pin is locked by the trigger and ready to fire. When the trigger is pulled all the way, the firing pin is released from the trigger and pushed forward by the firing pin spring. This energy is transferred to the firing pin, which strikes the magazine cap and fires the weapon. This sequence of shots is called single action. Now that you know how the guns work, let's move on and know how guns are made in factories. Manufacturing of guns The first step is to get high quality steel suitable for making weapons. This is because the metal has to be very strong to withstand the intense wear and tear that the gun will undergo until it is used. Softer metals like iron or gun metal are fine for older black powder guns, but won't last as long for more guns. With the metal in hand, the first step is to place the extruded steel bar into the CNC machine. Once clamped in a vise, the machine is set to automatically cut, trim, and shape metal to size and shape for specific parts of the gun assembly. The whole process is controlled by human workers, but most of the work is done by the machines themselves. The process generates a lot of heat, so the CNC machine requires constant cooling with a coolant. After the CNC machine has completed its task, the next step is to check the measurements of the CNC parts. Depending on the weapon in question, things like the firing chamber and firing pin assembly may be attached and attached to the main body of the weapon to check action. In this case, it's done by hand but some assembly can also be done automatically. However, the more complex and heavy parts tend to require the hands of a skilled gunsmith. The next step was to use a variety of hand and power tools to fine tune the machine or perfect the earlier part to meet the specifications of the final gun. Some parts of the gun may need to be welded and assembled. A special plasma torch is used for this. The parts are clamped in a vise and the plasma torch can do its job automatically. The parts are then cleaned and polished in a large slide polishing machine. These machines use a block of abrasive material in a vibration chamber where the corresponding metal parts are simply removed. If necessary, other parts are polished by hand 
using a belt sander or other polishing tools. This is to ensure the gun parts are as clean, but also ensure that they have the perfect shine for the finish. Since sections are then placed on racks and dipped and heated, treat it in a special oil bath to harden the steel. This usually occurs in parts such as chambers and barrels. The parts are then removed and are now ready for the actual assembly of the weapon. But before that, a series of quality controls are needed to ensure every part is made to the standards required for something like a gun. Modifications and repairs are also done when needed. This is especially true of parts such as the main magazine of this weapon. With all the main parts done, the next step comes is assembling the weapon. It is done by experienced gunsmiths who masterfully assemble the weapon from all the individual parts. Some assembly steps were relatively simple, such as the magazine, where the spring mechanism was simply screwed into the main body of the magazine. For the main gun, the barrel, firing pin, spring, and other parts are carefully assembled and disassembled as required. In all phases, aiming effects are tested and modified where necessary. The assembly continues adding things like a safety arm, handle, receiver, case deflector, etc. as needed. Physical sight and muzzle can also be added after grip. Stock can be added towards the end of the assembly process and locked if needed. Once the basic weapon assembly is completed, the final step is to test the shot and secure the weapon. This is done by loading a magazine with multiple rounds and firing the weapon in a special chamber area. And with that, the weapon is now complete and ready to be sold. Quality Control Guns are ready to be sold, but it's very important to check if it's working properly. If not checked, there could be accidents while using them. Do you know if they don't work properly that they can even cause death? You can say quality control plays a key role in the manufacturing of guns. The production of these guns would not be possible without a proper quality control system. Quality control starts with specifications and dimensional tolerances. Specifications determine the physical properties of a part to perform its function. Specifications for a part include material details, surface finish, hardness, heat treatment, strength, yield strength, tensile strength, and coating or cladding. Parts manufactured to specifications can be tested to determine whether they meet specifications or not. The specification also defines performance parameters such as the expected number of shots over the life of the weapon, average time to failure, and other attributes. Full or 100% inspection of all gun parts and assemblies is done, but this is rarely used because it's very expensive for companies. Statistical analysis based on sample selection is fine as also the testing of each batch of parts. Today is very popular due to its low cost and proven effectiveness. Most companies around the world use both combinations for quality checks. When the quality is checked and the examiners get the required result, it's considered safe to use and ready to be sold. You must be knowing that you should have proper documents and proof to buy a gun. Keeping a gun without verification is illegal and you could be punished for this. Click on one of the two videos on your screen right now. We'll catch you guys in the next one.